Hello everybody, Young and Heart here, and we are back with Dying Light. We're doing the Tunnel Vision quest. We need to find Aziz in the bazaar, so... <coughs> Let's get that ASAP. On second thought, this asshole is back. I need to challenge so, him. So, Crane, you still think of yourself as the best runner in the tower? Well... Show me then. But you're gonna have to be faster than before. Well, that's not available at night, so let's make it day. Check for the mud cars. They can save your life. You're in some serious denial if you think you can beat me. How are we going to get up there? <coughs> Alright, we should be able to do this one. It doesn't look that hard. Okay, maybe it will be a little bit hard. I don't foresee getting in there in the next 15 seconds. Just as I thought. But keep trying, Crane. Maybe you'll learn something. You're in some serious denial if you think you can beat me. Alright, let's go. This vision beats too hard. No, 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 no! Oh, that's gonna cause me a couple of seconds. Okay, we can make it. We can make it. I got this, I got this, I got this, come on. Yes! Suck it, you a -hole. You did it, by the skin of your teeth, if you ask me. You better get ready for next time, Crane. This guy is just one jealous a hole. You was ease? Ryan sent me. What happened to Assam? What do you think? You guys take a lot of chances out there. Look, I've got everything but the phenyl nitrate. And you don't have what I need, and that's not gonna cut it with Ryan. What can I do? The courier wrecked his car in the tunnel last night. He's with Assam now, and your phenyl nitrate is stuck in the trunk of his car. You wanted to go get it. Because there's no more in Haran. That's the last phenyl nitrate anyone's going to be seeing. What's his car look like? Hmm. White, I think. That's all I remember, white car. So you're really going to do this? Ryan doesn't like to be disappointed. You must be pretty tough. If you don't die doing this thing, I just might have an opportunity for you. Alright, white car in the tunnel. Let's go. Didn't say which tunnel, there's kind of a lot of tunnels here, but oh, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm hoping it's the one close to us.
Well, there's certainly leaking chemicals here. any of these ones. Or it could be this one. Fuck! Ow. Oh yeah, it's not these ones. Let's get the hell out of here before any infected turn up. Hey boys. Uh oh. Stay away from me. That's fucking hurt. Thank you. Thank you. You help. I'll be good, buddy. You need to leave. That bastard would have kicked me to death. Thank you so much. I may have wasted too many bullets there. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's check that. Nothing in there. <laughs> Holy crap on a cracker. Oh, of course you're here. I got your fennel nitrate. There we go. Fantastic. Bring it here. All right, let's go talk to this bastard. is that um, it's only a little bit of a detour let's go get it I need that experience anyway so <laughs> fuck it how come there are no more drops of antizen though that's what I don't understand they're like oh there's always two types food and antizen not a single antizen one has come since although it's Probable that the GRE just stopped take, sending them to get rice to cooperate. I don't know. <laughs> well, at least we got an achievement out of it. Oh shit, I'm glad I didn't drop off there. That would have killed me. Alright, 
we should nearly be back here. Yeah? can survive for the next couple of days at least. Thank you so much. Forget about the drops. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatin. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This and the problems of operating in the current environment have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Okay. Can he give us Antizen? Crane, the man who got the power back on. Take this. Sorry if I'm not sounding too grateful, but I'm having a piece of shite day, you know? Anything I can help with? Yes, but Brecken won't authorize it. Too risky, he says. Yeah, well, is it something we need? Okay. Brecken says we need better security at night. Too many nocturnals on our doorstep, right? So I've put together a new light rig using these big 10 kilowatt UV lamps. It's massive. Turn it on. It'll torch a volatile at 200 feet. It would be fucking nuclear. But the UV bulbs to run it are stuck in the towers of the Infamy Bridge. The bridge? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Are you talking about the Infamy Firewall? Sure. Biggest UV lamps in the hemisphere. Alfie, that system didn't work. It was a disaster. I mean, when it failed, they had to destroy the bridge. Well, it wouldn't have failed if they hadn't lost power. And when you restarted those substations, the system came back online. You can see it at night now. So you need someone to get the bulbs? Sure, sure. But here's the thing. Some of the bulbs have burned out, right? They're no good. So the only way to tell which ones still work is to collect them when the system is powered on. Another at night, night on. It. Getting in wouldn't be too hard. Yeah, but once you remove the working bulbs... You'll be on a pitch black bridge with a whole bunch of problems. Yeah. You know what? Maybe Brecken's right about this one. Forget I mentioned it. But it's a damn shame. Oh, I can do it. Um, boys? His technique is perfect. In the video, you can see he snaps his wrist just before the elbow locks out. Oh, before. I've been doing it after. That's how he keeps the level. Check it out. Crane just pegs them. Thunk, thunk, thunk. <laughs> you gotta see it. Nice. So they're watching a video of me killing zombies. Why not? Whoa, 
Whoa, not so fast. Sorry, buddy. In a rush. Haven't been able to go upstairs for a while. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including... including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Someone had to make the right call. Hey, Crane. It's good to see you. What happened here, it's so very sad. Alright, where's the dude that needs Copy. my gun? Alright, that's it. There's nothing more you can do. Yeah, well, Rice can throw a lot more bodies at them than we can. No, negative. Cut your losses and get out of there. Copy. Out. Hey, Crane. Back from the field, huh? No, not for long. You know about a scout named Kristoff? Uh, the new kid, huh? Yeah, he went on a recon mission, but I haven't heard from him in a while. Rahim checked him out and said he was solid, but uh, I'm not so sure. <laughs> One reckless kid certifying another. <laughs> That's what Brecken said. Of course, it could be just his radio. Some of the batteries are running down, so we're not getting much range out of them. Where was he headed? Out toward that newly constructed skyscraper. All right, I better go have a look. Hmm. Watch yourself out there, all right? All right. That does not bode well. Neither does the sound of all those infected. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, Ryan's not gonna think so when I get done with him. I've got a better idea. Bring him this instead. It's the Alavon, a sleeping aid. Let him cook up a batch with that in it. It'll send Rise's goons off to Dreamland. I don't think Rice will like that. Hmm, <laughs> probably not, but they could use this sleep. And there's no more fennel nitrate, so I guess he's out of business either way. And I like your thinking, Aman. Except that dude will probably kill the other guy, but whatever. Hey, girl. Alright, nothing else here. Traveling would be easier. Where is the dude that needed my gun? I mean, I don't want to give it to him, but he kind of needs it, so let's give it to him. You got it? Great. Here's the key I promised you. It's to my old pawn shop, you know? Used to be the best in town. Hey, speaking of the pawn shop, would you do me another favor? I need you to bring me something from the shop. You're going there anyway, right? What is it? It's a... Don't laugh, okay? It's a Ray McCall action figure. I know it sounds silly, but it means a lot to my son. Hmm, this is for you, isn't it? Uh, let's go see Brecken. <laughs> oh shit. This is where we get the announcements about the antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. There were kids in there! Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know who my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. 
Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Well, I feel like more of a piece of shit for destroying the Finally, answer. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Hmm. Alright, let's go upstairs. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Raheem's drunk. I trust you. <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scouts found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives... Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. Get off the ledge, kid. We make a good team. Ah, shit, oh my... Ah, don't drop me. Don't drop me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, that's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? I was set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. I already had my bags packed. I'll... Okay, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Oh. I feel bad now, but the explosives would probably get Raheem <laughs> killed. That's the thing. <laughs> Either way, I don't like this. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? Oh, we don't give me that start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Vice's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldemir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Rise wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. Oh, you assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Really not liking this. Crane, this is Jade. Do you copy? Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay. And listen, Jade. If we don't find that antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. 
I really don't like the look of this. Alright guys, if you liked the episode, let us know in the comment section below, and I will see you all in the next one. See ya.